Um, one other thing on this bike is that you have to keep in mind when you're riding or uh, is unlike a bike uh, that has a manual transmission where you're stopped at a light and you're sitting there uh, with the clutch held in and blipping the throttle to sound cool on this bike if you don't put it into neutral before doing that it will take off on you um, you, def you definitely have to uh, get that mindset that when you blip that throttle this thing goes uh, it, it carries two passengers. You can see I, I put a set of uh, Cortex saddlebags on here, which uh, I'll, I'll give a little review on those later. They're actually pretty nice. The bike has absolutely no storage space. Uh, under the rear seat, there's a little section where you can tuck in your manual, but that's about it. Uh, for me, I had the uh, additional uh, backrest put on, so when my wife or my son ride with me, they have something to lean against. Uh, in fact, I rode with my son yesterday, so the bike's kind of dirty. Um, one other thing is uh, you got to kind of get used to on this bike is when you're making a slow U-turn, you don't have your you don't have your your clutch to play with the friction zone to help control your speed. And once the bike slows down below eight miles an hour, and you're not uh, opening the throttle any, the bike goes into Neutral uh, goes into neutral automatically. The clutch engages. Um, so once the clutch engages and you start giving it the gas again, there's a very very small amount of time. Uh, there's some lag time before it actually engages again. So when you're making that slow turn and the bike starts falling over and you go to give it that little extra bit of gas to to keep it upright, there's that little bit of lag time which is very uh, disconcerting. What I found is though I can kind of hold on my brake, my rear brake, uh, and give it a little bit of gas to keep the clutch engaged. And then as I'm uh, making my turn, I can control the speed by simply relieving pressure on the on the brake and giving it a little more gas, and it responds very actively, uh, very well. Uh, this bike is not going to appeal to a lot of people. It appealed to me mainly because of the technology. Uh, I, I just uh, I got overwhelmed with what Honda did with this. It is quite a unique bike. Honda's not building a lot of these. They don't really see a big. Um, big market for them which uh, could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing a few years down the line I may have a rare cult bike that uh, is in high demand and not available or I may have uh, something similar to uh, the Edsel uh, for those of you old enough to remember that was a car that was manufactured that did not sell and was the epitome of a marketing failure um, I don't know but I, I like the bike I really do again it's not gonna appeal to everybody uh, it appealed to me. Uh, I, I find it to be a great bike. Uh, my brother, my eldest brother, was over at the house yesterday, gave it a quick ride, and he, he loved it. He thought it was great. Um, all the reviews I read on it seemed to be very, uh, very much split. Some of the reviewers just absolutely hated it because it's not really a sport bike. It doesn't, it's not a crotch rocket. It's not going to take off on you. Other people loved it. They, they just enjoyed riding it. They thought the styling was great. They thought the uniqueness of it was, was fantastic. A lot of applause to Honda for coming up with something different. Uh, so, so really the reviews have been mixed. Um, one thing that will turn off a lot of people, because it is not being manufactured in mass quantities, the manufacturing costs are higher. That means the price of the bike is higher. Uh, I paid 16000 before tax, tag, title, and all the dealer fees, um, which is really outrageous. Uh, I think maybe 10000 would probably be a decent price point for the bike, considering the features on it. But uh, hey, I, I really like this, and uh, I decided to buy it. Uh, kind of stretching my finances a little bit, but uh, what the hell, you know? Uh, I do like this bike. Anyway, if I've forgotten to mention any of the uh, particulars, I'll, I'll try to post those as well when I edit this video. I'll, I'll try to insert some, uh, some text. Uh, I won't give you all the specs on it. Hell, you can look all that crap up. But uh, I really like the bike, um, except for that uh, windscreen. The windscreen really sucks. Um, as far as comfort, it's very comfortable to ride. The, the seat's not bad at all. 
Um, I'm kind of overweight by a little bit and uh, I can sit on the thing for an hour and uh, only wiggle around a little bit to keep my butt from going numb. So it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, I've only taken it on a couple of uh, long rides of over an hour, but uh, it handled well. In fact, I think I've only got about 500 miles on it, maybe not even that much. Uh, it's not even been in for its uh, first checkup yet. That's coming. That's coming. Very soon, I hope. Uh, get that done with. Get it broken in. Anyway, it rides nice. Uh, I love it. Um, you might hate it. You might just think it's uh, a piece of shit, but <laughs> everybody's, uh, everybody's entitled to their opinion. Everybody's got their own particular requirements for their ride. And, uh, you know, I don't care whether you ride a cruiser, a crotch rocket, a scooter, um, you're, you're all part of the biker family, you know. Uh, there's something special about people that ride bikes. Okay, this is uh, RC62. Uh, now to go edit the video. I hope everyone uh, rides safe.